full week to recharge their batteries, to prepare for this opportunity to show that they should be higher in the table. Leeds were put out of the Worthington Cup after a real tussle at Filbert Street, put off the top of the table by Manchester United yesterday. But the message from the Leeds camp is please do not say that we're tired. They are young and gifted and all in yellow today. And here's Lucas Radovi, who provides such a steadying influence. It is bitterly cold in any contact early on. It might just be a little more painful than usual. Well, I just catch him with the arm, Dennis Wise, as he's going up. Nothing really sinister in that. We'll see more fluid, full bloody challenges from Dennis as the game goes on, I'm sure of that. Well, Leeds would love to get back to the top of the league by this evening. Chelsea certainly know they cannot afford to lose any more ground in the title race. It's a moot point already, I think, as to whether they are capable of winning the championship from this position, even if they do win this match. Poyet. Jeff Winter pointing in Chelsea's direction. He's looking quickly at Poyet taking position. It looks like Eric Back has been given the central midfield position, Martin, to play. And I think we'll only really pass him on when either Woodgate or Radovi says I've got him. Looks like Boyer's playing right of Baca, McPhail left of him. And referee plays an advantage then, it was a, a challenge by Lee Bowyer on Dennis Wise and the referee's going to call across Bowyer here and he's seen so many of these cards this season. There were complaints about the one he got in midweek Andy but that one yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, I can't understand. He doesn't make a tackle here, he just runs. There's no attempt to tackle. I mean, Jeff Winter's made a pretty poor start to this game. That's an awful decision from a referee. Maybe he was uh, contemplating a bit of revenge in Bowyer for that earlier contact with Wise. But anyway, Chelsea have got a free kick. Wise takes it. Sutton glances it on, and that was close. Well, that can only be inches. Bit of threat. When you think of the height they've got, he's given a corner, the referee will wait and see who actually it nicks off. He thought Sutton, was Sutton. Again, the referee gets it wrong. Not really helping Leeds an awful lot initially in this game. But it's only inches from finding the bottom corner. Well, having taken the free kick, Wise's next job is to take the corner. Sutton poised on the edge of the area. Slow and Poyet there as well, and Desai and Frank Leboeuf. Now it's almost as if the referee might have got a sixth sense that the earlier decision was a little dodgy. He's a given a free kick, but Nigel Martin makes a bit of a hash of it. Interesting opening moments in this game. Wondered whether Chelsea would try and start quickly Martin we know you like to pass the ball about but I wondered with Flo and Sutton in tandem would they just maybe get it forward a little earlier a little quicker to start the match out put Leeds under early pressure it's amazing how this rivalry has resurfaced it almost skipped a generation and Leeds were out of the top flight in Chelsea for a little while as well Sutton and I like that the other side coming in from the right wouldn't he you can see how awkward it was. What did he take it with his right foot? Bridges losing out and Kiel committed and Chelsea on the front foot again with Di Matteo. And that is a goal kick off Chris Sutton. David O'Leary only joined up with his players last night. He had to dash to Dublin to be with his father who was taken ill last week. Happily the news is good. And David has asked us to pass on his gratitude to the Matter Hospital in Dublin. Flo. Fail with a cultured touch in a crowded part of the pitch. Here's Darren Huckabee. the problem for Leeds is 
the absence in a key area of David Batty today. He came back to the team in midweek and then was injured again early on at Leicester. That was a big absence, Mark, particularly when you see where Gus Poyet's going to play this afternoon. Woodgate's gone forward at this Leeds free kick and Backer, maybe a player not known to too many of you. He's pretty good in the air as well. He does look a pretty good player all round. But Chelsea with a chance to break out here with Wise. Harley on the gallop on the left-hand side. And uh, Didier Deschamps not noted for his forward run, so it's well up with the play then. Di Matteo is noted for his shooting. And that spins away for another Chelsea corner. They've started earnestly here. Getting applause from the manager. Quite right, it's a lovely break. Didier Deschamps showing that he's ready to mix it. But he gets a little bit too much space, Roberto Di Matteo. Could have gone anywhere off Radaby. Why is the game with the corner? That's great work by Frank Leboeuf. Well, he took it on the chest, a big spin and got the shot on target. Beautiful play. Not sure if it was made from Dennis Wise, but he made the most of it, Frank Leboeuf. Ever so comfortable with his own ability. Good goalkeeping. He spills that, Nigel Martin, and there's a goal there. Fede, Deschamps, Chelsea have uh, in their foreign legion. Good number of players who know how to win trophies. Ferre has got a real collection of medals from his time with Barcelona. Now by McPhail, and Fede. Well, that's a worst tackle than the one knee boy you get big for by now. <laughs> well, you're now suspended for a second time by the tally of cards and must be leading the way in the country in that respect. He's wise with yet another dead ball situation again looking for Sutton. Gary Kelly. Played by the referee. Oh well, have blown in Chelsea's favour again. The Blues did have the ball. Harley. A good supply line in the cup tie at Harley. Also played the first half at Sunderland in very different circumstances. We might get some space today, Martin, if we can work the ball to Harley with the way Leeds are set up with pure wide on the left here. No real width on the right hand side of midfield Leeds. This time, Jeff Winter, even though the ball broke away to Torrey Andre Flo, has given Chelsea the free kick. It's a tough call, isn't it? Not easy for referees, it happens quickly. But happily, the cards stay in his pocket. Maybe it was just Jeff Winter calming things down and letting players know Mark with his book in a boy here. But uh, that's the end of it. Making it known that he wasn't going to stand any nonsense. Well, it does have a, a, a history this fixture. Yeah. Jeff Winters refereed a good few of these games, he was telling me. I think it's three and four. That's Deschamps. Not yet scored in the Premiership. Got one in Europe, didn't he? Smasher. Yeah. That kind of distance. Rifled it in top corner. But this is difficult because when the ball hits the wall, it's spinning. Really is spinning. Really difficult to control it. Does quite well. But you see the ball spinning, spinning, spinning. And that spin just helped it take it away from goal. It was the right idea for me across the goalkeeper, though. Well, a pretty positive start from the home side. We've actually hardly seen the ball in Chelsea half. Martin, it's been, well, eight and a half minutes of flow towards Nigel Martin. That's what I mean about getting the ball just a touch quicker there. That ball played from inside the Chelsea half right to the edge of leads his penalty area normally not the kind of ball Chelsea look to play very often like to play through midfield John Harley was a graduate of the FA National School he was a contemporary there of Michael Owens now 20 years old jump by Woodgate against Sutton to say Strong contrast in recent Premiership form between these two, very much in Leeds' favour. Chelsea with just five points from their last seven games. 
And those statistics alone spell out for you the incentive that they've got to produce from this particular game. Huckabee. They can go it alone too, Darren Huckabee. Came off Di Matteo, almost back half of his way. Chelsea sorted out through Wise. Nicely laid off by Poyet to Dejon. A little half openings at both ends there, actually, just before Huckabee got clear for Leeds. For the first time, Gus Poyet got himself in a position to go at the back four. The ball from Dennis Wise, just a touch too far ahead of him. A bit of a push by Sutton. Leeds have won 10 of their last 12 in the league. But looking at the game, as you sense, it has been getting progressively harder for David O'Leary's young team. Some very late, crucial goals. This might just be a barometer for them. I'm sure there are some expecting a bubble to burst around Ellen Road. But these, uh, these players determined that that won't happen. One of the older hands, Gary Kelly, he's uh, reached the massive age of 25. That's another fascinating thing, you look at the teams, eight of Chelsea's team, 29 are over. And nine of and it leads his team, 25 are under. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bridges. Two number eights, uh, key figures really today. Mitchell Poyet's hat-trick at Hull. Nine of Michael Bridges' 12 goals this season have come in away matches. The Leeds haven't managed any goals on their last three visits to Stamford Bridge. They've got a potential situation of promise here with a McPhail corner. Woodgate making a late run. The Hui, continental star with the fists by the near post. I know it's pretty cold down at pitch level today, Mark. The ball might be pretty greasy. Goalkeeper deciding, maybe both keepers keep decide any doubts. It's going to be punched rather than caught. We don't often get to snow in the south before Christmas. Some say it's a, a sign of a bit of winter ahead. And there's been a good coating in the home counties, particularly the undersoil heating. Meaning here there's no pitch problems. Throw to Leeds. Well, Leeds might just feel now, Martin, that they've seen off that pretty quick start from Chelsea. Start to influence the game themselves now in the Chelsea defensive third. Just run away from John Harley behind for the Leeds corner. Again, the left-footed McPhail across to take it. He's sharp shooting and not just from the penalty spot. Right on the, the edge of the area. Knocked away with some class by LeBeuf. Watching that corner, Mark, and you know we talked about the two number eights, Michael Bridges leads. He took up a really strange position. I mean, I would have thought, you know, top goal scorer, get him right in the mix. He actually came away to the near side, miles away from the ball, outside the box. Looking to signal to the taker to find them. Strange position. Oh, happy to work it away with his right foot. Leboeuf gambled and won. Harley. Celestine Babiaro is close to full fitness. He's in a hamstring strain. Playing the so less so. Down goes Poyet. And uh, back a feeling that. The Uruguayan made a bit of a meal of that. Well, he hangs a leg out, Backer. There you see the right leg come out. I don't think it's an argument, it's a free kick. But I'll tell you what, if Gus Poyet turned and spun the other way. Albert Ferrer, the right back, was in absolutely acres, just square of him. For any ball rolled into him. Now, this must be a danger. Wisey will fancy it. Certainly, LaBeouf will fancy it. Say, coming in towards the end of the Leeds wall. Trying to move away and leave a space for LeBeuf to cut it through. Di Matteo going for the cross. 
Nigel Martin going for the catch and making it. Oh, he's not happy. Well, a couple of free kicks from what I would term Zola range, Martin. The opening 15 minutes. And they've hit the wall with both of them. minutes gone. Chelsea now leads United now. Kewell. 15 quiet minutes for Harry Kewell. Big players win big games and there's no doubt where Leeds are concerned Harry Kewell's a big player but as yet because he really has been almost a chalk in his boots Mark he's been so wide in this left hand side he hasn't wandered at all in the match and Leeds have found it difficult to get the ball to him. Deschamps, wanting someone to move from the Chelsea left. To Matteo. Oh, he's setting off, he was concerned about his defensive duties, you can't blame him for that. Oh, Poet came back for it. Well, he got lucky with his touch, because I think that he takes it too thin here, he's not going to get this, but it hits Jonathan Woodgate and drops beautifully for Gus Poet. Rather strange thing when you watch this player play is that he's missed the target as widely as that. Ron was so good at making goalkeepers work. Kewell. In field, only dropping for Deja. That could be trying to catch out the Frenchman who was a bit too cute for him. Harley. Looking early for Sutton. The flick aimed for Wise and very nearly found him. Direct football from Chelsea. Leeds trying to respond in kind. Bridget, the uh, support not quite there from midfield. Di Matteo. Rising a lot of the ball early on. Di Matteo taking charge in towards Flo. Rise! Ah, oh, supreme football. Right out the top draw. Wonderful build up. Great movement all round here from players. Dennis Wise plays it wide, continues his run. This is a super spot from Flo. He's not going for goal. He sees Wise coming in late. Lays it back into his path. Well, I think Dennis will be a little disappointed he hasn't made the goalkeeper work. Only six yards out. There's a knockback. A little bit of pressure, but oh, he's got to hit the target from there. Wonderful football from Chelsea. Problem for Leeds. Gary Kelly, staying down, not the happiest of grounds this for him, he's conceded a penalty here, he's been sent off here, remember Leeds finished with nine men a couple of years ago. But Gianluca Vialli would have appreciated the quality in that Chelsea attack. Oh, great play, Wise and Di Matteo Martin, Di Matteo played it to Wise, continued his run, Wise back to Di Matteo, Dennis continued his run, almost, almost gave it the perfect finish. Flow. Harley. Well, John Harley may be deemed the third choice left back, but the fortune has smiled on him with injuries to others and he's coming from a game where he really caught the eye at Hull City. I think what he's got today, Mark, as well, he's got no one directly in front of him, either as an attacker or a defender, until he reaches Gary Kelly. So if he wants to bomb forward the young lad, he can. Something goes towards the near post. Maka getting the better of Flo. Oh. And Jewel, that's Di Matteo! But the goalkeeper's body language, Nigel Martin, told us before anything else that it was not on target. Yeah, people at the side that are going weird out would have thought this was pretty close. It's not a great header from Boyer, it's a long, long way out. You can see it's always bending away from goal. McPhail. Aaron Huckabee has been in and out of the lead side since his big money move from Coventry. He's a good block, but not so good with the left foot by Fede. That comes McPhail, Radaby's there. Woodgate, good pressure. 
Kelly for the Compass Mentis again. Fail. Nice. Uh, wanting more time than he had. Backer, real launch at him by Desai. Backer did well to get the ball away and get out of the way himself. And then there's a save to be made from Bridges by the Hui. Yeah, comfortable in the end. Long way out. I've been very surprised if it had troubled Ed Dehoy more than it did. Well, but leads his first real direct shot on goal. And we're 20 minutes into this game. Harley. Di Matteo. Ferrer. Still Ferrer. Oh, goalkeeper has got this one, but he got there before Torre Andre Flo could punish the mishandling. Well, it's all Chelsea at the moment, 20 minutes, but from the odd attack from Leeds Martin, it's been Chelsea who have been knocking on the door, asking the questions. Flags up for offside. But that's good play all round, good play from Albert Ferrer, who drives inside onto his left side. But it's also good defending and good goalkeeping at the end. We look at Jonathan Woodgate, we talk about strikers following the ball in. That's what a defender has to do as well. Protected his goalkeeper really well, the young lad. Backer. His father's been in the news as he's brought over from Norway to help Wimbledon sort out uh, some cash flow problems. Decision goes Leeds way. I like this game, you know, there's just a touch of undercurrent there, isn't it? Well, it's Chelsea Leeds, and yeah. you're old enough to remember like what that. that used to mean. I like that. Norman Hunter, I've seen him here today. Peter Osgood, Eddie Gray, of course. Famous uh, FA Cup final of 1970. Eddie Gray destroyed Chelsea and uh, ended up drawing at Wembley and losing the replay at Old Trafford. And that was when uh, these uh, two clubs were pretty much the top two in the land. Chelsea, Cup Kings then, and Cup Kings in recent years as well. They'd love to make an imprint on the league. Only champions once, of course, way back in 1955. Back up. I think that Chelsea should be quite comfortable with anything like this, Martin. They've got good height in their defence. You see Baka, although he gets to the ball, he's under real pressure from Gus Poyet. No team has scored in the league against Chelsea with a header so far this season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least had a, a sight of ending that run. I can see with one uh, headed goal in Europe. Woodgate. A change of pace there, one of his uh, attributes. Might have uh, bent out of play, but the uh, assistant didn't think so. Much better judge to see than I was. We'll have to see if you and I should get used to all the play in this side, Mark, because I've got a funny feeling we're going to see a lot less of that second half. Look at the gaps on this other side of the pitch, that's what I'm talking about. Look at Harley, the space it can go into. He'll be the first to try and confront it. Harley working hard to initially think about getting in a good angle for the cross goes back without forfeiting possession. Deschamps turn back up. Wise, Le Berth to help him out and maybe stride on purposefully here. Frank Le Berth not exactly letting rip at the end of it, whether he was just trying a disguised pass or it was a mishit shot. The latter. <laughs> That's Christmas, I'll give you this. Bogan. Now Deshaun, Sutton making it a forward run here. Woodgate again, very well placed. Good defending, he's played well, Woodgate. It's a good start to the match. But in all fairness, all at the back have done all right for Leeds, Mark, because they've been the ones that have been asked the most questions, have been under most pressure. 
I think they might have expected that though. I think David Leary won't be too concerned that they've absorbed a bit of pressure. They'll want the side as we approached 25 minutes to start just having a little say, evening things out. They do have to win to go back to the top. Yeah. The draw would put them level on points with Manchester United. And I guess if he'd offered that to David O'Leary at the start of the season, he would have been uh, thrilled at the prospect. 20 minutes to go to half-time. Fail. Bridges. It's a bit sluggish to react, Chelsea. Flag's gone up, I think, far side, Mark. Yeah, Mark might have been responsible for that. And the move for Michael Bridges has worked out well. Sunderland he's left behind uh, going splendidly. Well, Frank Abbas just uh, getting a tail into from Jeff Winter, and quite rightly. He's very demonstrative in his complaining, Frank Abbas. Jeff Winter just only wants to just calm it down. If you want, I think what he was saying, if you want to talk to me, fine. But don't come up to me waving your arms all over the place. play from Chelsea but no breakthroughs yet nearly oh yeah Mention is a hernia problem he's certainly been less productive in recent weeks David O'Leary was telling me he's still covering the ground from penalty area to penalty area and always the service has been right for the sort of runs that get him into scoring positions The birth, Deshaun. Interception by Backer. Now Huckabee. The birth drawn out of the centre. No complaints from Huckabee. The referee has just pointed for the goal kick. Andy. Complaints from both, actually. The birth saying, was that a bit of a dive? Huckabee saying no, I'll get caught. Difficult to see from that. I'm going to get caught with a trailing leg, but certainly didn't look to be an awful lot of contact. Kelly. Alan Smith is another of the Leeds casualties. He's got an ankle problem. And David Hopkins, once of Chelsea, is in for a while as well. This team almost picking itself for David O'Leary. The option of bringing in Jason Wilcox right at the yeah. outset of his Leeds career for a start. Find that. Wilcox on the bench here. Again, an air of authority from Woodgate. The birth. Leeds just can't get a foothold in the game, Mark. They can't get it down. They can't put passes together. Good old flashback, Andy. It's a apparent, what a better playing surface this is. Yeah. And it has been there through the 90s. And Chelsea, who do like to get it down and pass it, will appreciate that. It's not to say we uh, didn't feel the same. Art. It's a fair. There is a, a young artist in midfield, actually born in London. Oh, this is a bit fortunate <laughs> there. <laughs> Kelly. Ahead of him on that far side. Back at Bridges. Messi, though, able to cope reasonably comfortably with what uh, Leeds have tried to manufacture in terms of thrust. It's been pretty blunt so far. This is a, a demanding fixture for them at the end of a, a busy week. And here's Wise, something's unmarked in the centre, Flo is there, and coming across was Kelly. I just wonder if the front two get a little close together. It's a great opportunity, wonderful football again from Chelsea. Poyet. Di Matteo, not closed down. Oh, go wide, he must go wide, look at Dennis Wise, bottom of the screen. Oh. Uh, he should have been given it. Goodness me, what an opportunity. Look at Dennis, just play him in, he can do what he likes. Oh, what a chance. Well, 
just to impress. He hasn't played many, many Premiership games this season. He's uh, full of the joys as well because he's just become a dad for the first time. Fedek to be ahead of him. Goes to try and go infield. Mercules upcoming commitments to Australia, particularly the uh, Olympic side. I understand why David O'Leary wanted to bring in a, another left-sided player to the club like Jason Wilcox. Wise. He'd had the upper hand in the opening half an hour, but it's still nil-nil at the bridge. Quiet. Harley thinking about crossing it first time. A leap and immense would get, I have to say, Martin, for 30 minutes in this match. Young centre back. Chelsea working it wide again. Poyet. Opportunities arrive, they come and they go for Chelsea. They really are dominating the game to such an extent that David O'Leary must be worried. The balls have just been fed, and look at the space that Poyet has for himself. He's better than that as well. Just lets it run across his body. I'd normally expect him to hit the target, even from 25 yards. We got the winner here in this fixture last season, the only goal meetings between the two clubs in this ground in the Premiership. The say, oh Bridges, but a handball. Flags gone up, wasn't it? Was up to uh, presumably respond to that. Just for a second, just for a second there. Yeah. I thought there was a chance, but quite clearly the arm was used. Press back. Not as much of that from the lead as David O'Leary would have liked. Fail who did it is in the thick of things again. Back up. And this is Huckabee. And the rounded shoulders and the uh, unpredictable style of play. Well, that's who I actually thought he might play, Martin, when I saw Kuo being playing left side I thought they surely will play Huckabee on the other side of Bridges just to go out a young and inexperienced fullback he's got good pace Huckabee does like taking people on there will be gaps on that side he might get 1v1 and more than one occasion against a young lad surprisingly he's been over there well I can only think of a couple of times where Huckabee's found himself wide right Huckabee got his head to it again international for Norway, Eric Backer, and having forced his way into this Leeds United team, feeling he's going to be quite difficult to dislodge. So. Hart, Bridges trying to just take it and show what he can do against the World Cup winners, Desai and LeBeuf. A bit. Back up. A bit more control in Leeds play now. Kelly. Now McPhail. Not, uh, panicking in possession. That's a little better though. One or two passes they're put together. Good vision by McPhail again. Hart. Who will ahead of him? Periphery, as far as the pitch is concerned, and as far as the game is concerned. Yeah, when you look at that, Martin, only five passes, only two completed. You want him on the ball a bit more than that. It's not ideal conditions for an Australian, is it? <laughs> He's been in this country long enough. It does get pretty chilly in West Yorkshire. It's very, very chilly in West London today. 
fail, but it runs away from him to Robbie Di Matteo. Poyet is just widening his position on the left-hand side. To back. Fede has come forward once or twice to good effect. Across uh, gave three in the box, no chance. That would be the one disappointing thing that uh, Diali would be disappointed with, Mark, was the, the quality of the crossing from left and right. When you've got Poyet up there with the likes of Flo and Sutton, you'd want a better quality of cross coming in. Well, Kiel was starting to roam, he was uh, down by Desai, but Jeff Winter correctly letting the uh, play go on. Well, not, before time. Possession. Sorry, Mark, not before time for me that uh, Kiel's roaming. Only on the ball five times, as we've seen five or six times wide, getting a little frustrated, the young lad. He wants to be on the football, simple as that. Whereas Gus Poyet, centrally, well, he's been on the ball far more, and that doesn't include the attempts at goal we've seen from him as well. It's not playing like for like, but they're the ones no. with the freedom mm. to uh, influence the play. By Deschamps. And Sutton doesn't get a sympathetic hearing from the referee there. Seeing as backing in as a, a striker himself, Gianluca Bialy will maybe have his own views similar to Sutton about that decision. So pressed by Bridges, fouled by Bridges. Well, it's not easy, I mentioned Bridges and Huckabee, the challenge of facing the World Cup winning centre-back duo. They've only started eight league games, Desai and Leboeuf together, Martin. But six of those have kept clean sheets. Only lost three goals against Canu here, and then another one up at Anfield, but by then, I think, certainly Mr Desai had left the pitch, hadn't he? Sent off in that game. So we've got a pretty good record, these two Frenchmen who play at the back. Backer. Wise tracking back. And the Desai has gone down. Ali plays it forward. Chelsea happy to go on here, but Desai is uh, prostrate in the other half. Clever play by Gary Kelly. Leeds absolutely delighted to get him back in full working order. And Leeds wanting to play on. Chelsea had done the same. And you can hear what the Stamford Bridge faithful think about that well, well has gone to the referee to say he should have stopped it earlier well, there was a nasty tumble on the right shoulder Martin you could see it as a heavy one in fairness to Lee Boy I'm not sure whether he saw him lying there Martin it's not easy to see everything on the pitch the ball came from defence to midfield to Boyer Sometimes too many people have too much to say. Well, Jeff Winter's having a word with his assistant, Paul Norman. Oh, I'm not sure why. Maybe he was questioning as to what happened uh, to, to say. He might not have seen it. It was uh, a fall, as you said, just uh, away from the ball. Mike Banks is the Chelsea physio. Uh, you can see that. So that's the area that's troubling him. Landed very heavily on that right shoulder. Just as he goes over there, under him, collapses underneath him. Whole oh, body weight lands on him. Time for the manager to assess the situation with medical advice. Later tonight, the Edinburgh Derby from Scotland, Sky Sports 3. And on Wednesday, third round FA Cup replay, we brought you the first game, Newcastle against Tottenham, to be played to a conclusion Wednesday, 7 o'clock, Sky Sports 2 and Sky Sports Extra for Sky Digital viewers. Fair most for us that night, do you think? It can't be any colder than it is here. <laughs> Q. Trying to get the better of Fede. Not an easy thing to do. 
And I've seen a lot of Albert Ferrer this season, Martin. And I can't think of anyone who's given him a good old-fashioned roasting. He can defend that boy, he knows what the job's about. Vastly experienced and talented in that position. and Hart no shortage of left footers the lead set up Kelly has got twice for his only club why does Michael Bridges stay outside the penalty area for corner I suggest you have a word with the Leeds coaching staff <laughs> no, I just I mean they're not the biggest side in the world Leeds there you see left of the screen just going out a shot that was Michael Bridges I can't believe he's that bad a header of the ball, Mark, that you wouldn't want him in. Oh. To say he as he played that forward. Well, I think they might be looking to make a change, Martin. Back a bit. Yeah, bounces away from him, cleared by LeBeuf. I don't think we're going to see much more of Desai. Right arm's hardly moved as he's been running and jogging. Just hanging limp by his side. And if they... Going down as if he was sure that was passing wide of the post. There's been a late tackle going on as well there. That could be a free kick. Wolf Winter just wanted something there as the ball came down. Just after the strike gets caught there. It's just a touch high from... Des champs, yeah. Maka is in need of attention here. But this I feels the worst for that to down his shoulder. It is a very painful part of the body. Yes, who would be the obvious replacement? The Danish international with more than 50 caps. Who? Yes, who? Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not guess who. All right. That'd be easier. Yeah. <laughs> the stretch of bearers are not for Desai, but for Leeds, who are in danger of losing another midfield player. Well, is that me? Day shot, man. It's a follow through. You see that? That can be painful if you can't, if you don't see it coming, which I don't think Baka did. Then he's fallen through there. It's, it's in step, it's probably connected with the sole of Deschamps' boot. And it can be extremely painful. Well, it's the shin. In step, certainly that would have been a painful one for him. And Leeds will be looking to really connect with the free kick. Hart is the uh, left footer involved. And it hits Frank Le Berth. There you're keeping it in. Oh, that would have been easy for him to let it go, wouldn't it, Lee Boyer? That was an easy option, take a corner, but he was so quick to react here. This is a good block from Le Berth, but he really reacts very quickly. Corner for Leeds, Ed De Gooy. And the necessary with the fists. Wise. Chelsea trying to spring out. Right of it. Kelly trying to find some space away from Chris Sutton, who's not giving it up easily. Kelly is quick. Wise. Nice uh, footed work from a Chelsea skipper. Flo. Really started well, Chelsea, but didn't. The goal that they were threatening in those early minutes. Wise. Flow. The face up to Leeds United and then they force him to check back. That's good work by Backer who's uh, still limping slightly. Di Matteo. Blocked by Radovic. Di Matteo made it his through McPhail. Wise, getting within range. 
decent strike, but straight down Nigel Martin's throat. Just thought Di Matteo had a chance there again. He took the shot on. Poyet was making a run just beside him. Kiel was making better progress that time until Ferrer again put the padlocks on. <laughs> it's a strange one again. Well, he has a look, but he says he makes a back for him, but in all honesty, Ian Hart was up very, very early. Look, our angle even made a different decision. Yeah. <laughs> Leeds have got the free kick. Into the feet of Q. Deschamps has kicked that. And we're in stoppage time. In which there will be three minutes before half time. Well, they're obviously trying to get Desaye through to half time, Martin, before they make a decision. Still looks very uncomfortable. A kick pass there by Hart. Bridges. Drops for Poyet. Poyet tracking back. Poyet trying to power on Di Matteo. Off the chest of Sutton. Flo will collect this. Harley waiting on the left. Wise. Well, there have been a number of positions worked just outside the Leeds penalty mm. area, but it hasn't been the, uh, the best day for shooting for Chelsea. I just distance. want. I just wonder. Sorry, Martin. I just wonder as we approach half time whether Gianluca Vialli having left. Gianfranca Zola out of the team might be thinking the way things are going two big front men haven't really worked that well for them they've done all right but with this very very good defensive organization that Leeds have got midfield quartet getting back and helping the back four and we'll see sooner rather than later the little Italian brought on to just use his own brand of magic to fashion an opening for someone else oh, more often for Chelsea this season it's been so uh, mm. Flow as other and Sutton, yeah. Hasn't, uh, if you look at the results, worked particularly well for Chelsea when it's been Sutton and Flo. I think it was horses for courses. I honestly thought that, that Fiali, as I was saying to Richard earlier, there's been an awful lot said from Chelsea about a physical game today that's really surprised me. They've dominated the, the press and the media about how physical it might be, and that might have influenced the selection of the front two. Two big six foot plus lads that can put it about. But maybe this is a game where craft and intelligence, skill and ability more than ever might be needed for Chelsea to create the opening because this is a very stubborn lead side. Got into the habit of winning games and not losing many. Well, this has been very much in keeping with the way these matches have gone at Stamford Bridge in recent seasons. Not for the want of trying particularly by Chelsea with Dennis Wise very much to the fore and his header just over the bar as close as Chelsea came. Leeds started slowly, but into the game better as the half went on. And at half-time at Stamford Bridge, it's 0-0.